Hello, today we will introduce the Xiaomi Android TV system UI and operation. Note, at present, all the P1 series and its previous series of Xiaomi TV use Android TV system, and only part of models of A2 series and Q2 series of Xiaomi TV use Android TV system. For details, see the user manual in the packing box. Note, this Xiaomi's Android TV system introduction is suitable for most cases of Android TV, but Android TV system's configurations will be slight differences because of region and size differences. After turning on the TV, we need to pair the remote control with the TV. Press and hold the Mi and Home keys on the remote to enter the pairing interface. Pairing succeeded after a tick sound. Note, the button's name on the remote in different regions may be different. The remote pairing method refers to user manual. The main interface UI of Android TV has several function modules, which are described as below. In the upper left corner are Google Assistant and Soft Keyboard. You can use their voice or soft keyboard functions to search video content. In the upper right corner are Input, Settings, and Time Display. Information such as Application Notification, System Upgrade, and System Notifications will also be shown up in this area. The Apps module is used to display applications in TV, such as Netflix and YouTube, which are commonly used in TV. We can click the plus next to add our favorite app in Apps module, such as adding a Play Games. Below apps are the recently opened apps and recommended content. Patchwall is an online content platform developed by Xiaomi, which is committed to providing customers with high-quality online content resources. Note, Patchwall is only available in some countries such as Spain, Russia, Indonesia, etc. In the pre-installed application, we focus on the Miracast firstly. Note, A2 series, Q2 series, and some P1 series support both Miracast and Chromecast functions. While some P1 series only support Chromecast functions, for each product, we can check its specifications. The Miracast function requires that the device and TV are in the same wireless network, and both can support Miracast. Open the app, and we can see that the TV is waiting for connection. Take out a mobile phone that supports the Miracast function and turn on the wireless screen casting function. The TV screen shows that the connection is in progress and the connection will be successful later. Note, the top resolution of Miracast on Mi TV is 1080 pixel, and the cast performance such as fluency or definition is strongly related to user's network and the device. Note, see the introduction in manual help for the casting method of Chromecast. Enter TV Manager app. We can see the usage situation of TV. The upper right shows memory usage, trash, and running apps. There are also some memory boost, cleaner, uninstall apps, deep clean, and other functions below. When the user's TV system is lagging, we can guide the user to optimize or deep clean in TV Manager. Another important app is User Manual. It needs to be opened in the networking environment. It is the User Manual of Android TV. It includes eight parts. User Manual Version, Remote Control, Switch to Devices, Cast, Watch Live TV. Patch Wall, General Settings. Far Field Voice Control. That's all for Apps Module Functions Introduction. 
The above is the introduction to the interface functions of Xiaomi Android TV. Thanks for watching.